Um, my fifth question is, how does the language of French and English compare and contrast? Um, why is this project with Royal PD and why is the positive, why, what is the positive impact of the Mekong Um, the, the project is with Royal PD because I always wanted to learn French. It might make a positive impact on others because it may show them that different languages are great and that it would be fun to learn a different language. The steps I took for my project. The first step is I do a generation, and during this step, um, I thought of a topic that was in my interest. Um, the second step is pitch. Uh, what I did during this step was I picked three friends and the teacher, too, and told them about my topic that I chose. So the third step is research and learn. Um, during this step, you had to learn and research about research about your topic that you picked. During this step, I had a hard time finding a lot of like similarities for my fifth question. Um, fourth step is create. During this step, I created a PowerPoint. Um, the one you're looking at now. And yeah. And the fifth step is presentate. In this step, you had to get in front of the class and present the PowerPoint you made. And the sixth step is reflect. During this step, I reflected during the project that we were making this, during the kids' school. The mentors I had, I used this YouTube channel, channel called Learning French with Alexa. I also used Google for helping me with my French, and I used the Duolingo app. Um, when I was using the YouTube channel one, it was kind of hard because she didn't really like, help that much as I thought she would. Um, the answer to my fifth question, um, the French and English similarities. So the French and English languages are related in a sense because French is a like Romance language, descended from Latin with German and English influence. When English is a Germanic language with Latin and French influence, so they come from like same influences of. Um, different resources estimate 45% of words in English are of French origin, even though the similarity isn't as obvious. Um, some more similarities is French and English um, verb grammar are very similar in nature. Both languages, for example, they both have past, present, future tenses. They sometimes use similar grammatic structure and have several words in common. In fact, it is calculated that English and French share up to 27% of the words or like like the similarity, similarity in both form and meaning. The differences, so the difference is that there's this word called false conjugates, words that look similar but have vastly different meanings. So even though they like may have like the same spelling or look the same, they could have the same different like different meanings. Capitalization is less common in one language and more common than the other. So like one language may not have all the words capitalized and some may have the words capitalized. Um, accent is in many of the words. When they speak, they, you can tell that they'll have an accent. And, in, and it's only in foreign words, so like you would tell like the difference. Um, the differences, like for instance, um, a sister in French, which has the like root word of assist, nearly always means to attend something, while assist in English means to help. And so they have different meanings in there. Um, also, another interesting fact is when I was talking about false conjugates, um, there's a whole bunch of, there's like hundreds of condoms of words that like have, um, that are look-alike or pronounced alike in, in their two languages, including true conjugates with similar um, meanings, false conjugates with different meanings, and semi-false conjugates with some similar and some with different meanings. And um, they did a calculation that false conjugates could bond us the most. I also, during this step, I looked at words that might be um, false conjugates, like look the same, and that have different meanings. There's, um, there's one word in English you call domestic, and um, in French, it's spelled D-O-M-E-S-T-I. 
E-I-T-U-E. -E. And it has different spellings. I don't know if the meanings are the same, but... And also in English, letter is spelled differently. In French, letter is spelled L-E-T-T-R-E. -E. Um, there's also, like, there's some same words, but I don't know if the meanings are the same, but they have the same um, spelling. So, um, million is spelled the million and same in French, and mode is spelled the same in mode. I also wanted to take and learn some words to see the difference. So, like in, in English, hi is salute in French, um, hello is bonjour, butterfly is papillon, I is G, Vinx is mercy, and coffee is cafe. Or coffee, I don't know how to say it. Well, <laughs> I don't know if that was the right Um. Those are the words, and these are the resources I use. And the life lesson I learned is time management. I also learned that I can't do multiple tasks at once.